guys, welcome back to Yost Built, and in tonight's video, we're going to go over how much it costs to build a 500 horsepower Spirit RT. So, I'm going to include everything in this video that is basically what it would cost you guys to build it, not what it cost us to build it, uh, because some of the parts we got off of Trailer Park, some of the parts we got uh, used off of eBay or open box specials or Fr Black Friday specials or something like that. Uh, and then at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a estimated cost that we have into the car. Um, but we'll hop right into the car. We'll uh, start at the back of the car, work our way to the front, then go over the motor, uh, the trans, everything like that. So uh, pretty much the back of the car, or actually the car itself. So to find a clean, uh, basically rust-free, early 90s Spirit uh, RT, which is the one that comes with the dual cam turbo, uh, it comes with the 568 transmission and everything you will need that will hold up to 500 horsepower, uh, you're going to spend roughly $1,500 to $2,000 uh, to find a, I wouldn't say running model or a running edition, but to find a good candidate to stick an SRT4 or a PTGT swap into, and then you're going, uh, of course, to have to do some work to it. Nothing is gonna be replaced. It's probably gonna have all old bushings and everything like that. Uh, so just to get the chassis itself, they're around two grand uh, for a good clean model that isn't a complete rust bucket and missing everything. Uh, the Spirit RTs, like I said, are a special edition. They come with side skirts, a rear lip, a front lip, they're the factory dual cam turbo model. They have the best of everything. It was actually one of the most best, or one of the most. It was the best performing four door family car released in 1991 through 92. Uh, pretty much best bang for your buck. Uh, you can go back to the old videos and see, we took a stock 2.2 liter one, slapped a GT30 76 on it, and made 400 horsepower with the stock transmission and everything, just a clutch. E85, some eBay injectors, and a GT37 from eBay, and we went uh, high 12s pretty easily for less than like three grand total. Uh, that includes clutch, everything that we had in, at that time. Uh, the spirit behind us, as you've seen, has a lot, lot, lot more done to it. So, two grand for a basic chassis, you're gonna have a good starting point. Um, all the bushings in the car, on ours has been replaced. Everything was replaced with Moog. So we have Moog, uh, you know, tie rod ends, ball joints, everything. Everything on the car and the front suspension is brand new. Uh, you're gonna spend around $350 to $400 just in bushings, ball joints, and everything like that. Of course, we upgraded have polyurethane. Uh, the custom coilovers, if you can even get a set, or if you make your own, you're gonna spend another 200 to $300 to get the car where you can actually lower the height of the car uh, with some upgraded shocks, if you can find some. Uh, the rear has a solid beam axle. It's uh, kind of custom. You're gonna to have to make custom stuff. We ran air shocks. They were like 150 bucks uh, for them. So it's, to get a good clean chassis with good bushings and everything, you're gonna spend 2,500, three grand in total without. So at that point, if you keep the old 2.2 turbo, uh, like I said, you can go mid 12s pretty easily with a decent tune and some E85 and a little turbo. Now, our SRT4 setup, to find a clean SRT4 motor or a PTGT motor, uh, if you do a scrapyard, you can find one for around 550 bucks. I know there's people that scrap SRT4s locally, and most of them sell the motors in clean running condition for $750 to $1,000, depending on the condition of the motor. Uh, a stock SRT4 motor will handle 400 horsepower pretty easily uh, with just simple like BWS turbo or something like that, and you could easily throw it in one of these cars. Ours was not that. Ours was uh, Eagle Rods. Uh, I forget, I think they're JE Pistons that we had. Uh, it had a fully ported head. It had stage three cams in it. It had valve springs and retainers. The head had one millimeter of valves. Uh, the intake manifold was a stock SRT4 unit that was chopped off with a little bit of custom fab work. You had an aftermarket log manifold. You had a Borg Warner S261. Um, 
just in the manifold intercooler intercooler kit uh, wastegate blow off valve we had around $2,300. So we had a pretty expensive kit. Uh, the turbo itself was like 11 or 1200 bucks when we bought it. Uh, so you're talking simple math here, 2000, well, $3,000 car with all the bushings and everything. And then a $2,500 turbo kit, talking about a $5,500 car. And at that point you still have a stock motor. Uh, Pistons and rods for an SRD4 motor are just like any other four cylinder. You're looking around $550 to $700 for a set of pistons. You're looking around $400 to $500 for a set of good rods. So throw another $1,000 on there. Machine work bearings. Um, yeah, you're gonna have another two, two grand, $2,500 uh, into a good short block. A good built cylinder head is gonna be another two grand uh, with just valve springs, retainers, the machine work making sure everything is right, and then the cams, about another two grand. So if you realistically wanted to build a 500 horsepower capable, daily driven SRT four swap Spirit, um, you're gonna be looking maybe 10 grand at this point, and then you need a fuel system. So fuel systems keep up, you're gonna at least need a 450 in-tank pump, uh, some Aftermarket A in lines, uh, fittings, a rail, uh, injectors. So we went with some snake eaters. We had snake eater 1500s. I think we got them on Black Friday for like $300. I think they were $300. Uh, I think the outgoing price for a regular customer is still $400 something. Uh, we had a aftermarket fuel rail to accept the A in fittings. Uh, I think those are sell for around 250 bucks. Uh, and then the A in lines themselves and the fittings, you're still talking another three, $400. Uh, Hellcat pump or a 450 pump is another 150 bucks. So you can wrap up a thousand dollars in a fuel system pretty easily. Um, so at that point you have about 1100 or $11,000 into your uh, spirit. Uh, and then you need an ECU to control it. So we went with a, a micro squirt the micro squirt was about 350 bucks, I think, with the harness and everything. Uh, and then you need coils. Uh, we went with the Audi R8 coils. You can get them on uh, Amazon. I think they're like $50 a coil, so 200 bucks all together. You have a set of coils, and then you gotta wire everything up, so odds and ends, you're gonna spend another probably three, 400 bucks, actually, on some wiring, relays, fuse box, and everything to make it all work. Uh, st solid state relay, a breaker so that if any electrical issues happen, the car shuts itself down. Uh, and then like our custom dash and everything uh, is fully set up, uses a Raspberry Pi. That's another $400, $500. So just using simple math on what we actually had into that car, that setup to make 530 wheel, it did it relatively easy. Uh, you're talking 12, to $13,000. Uh, looking back on it now, you could do it a lot cheaper. A stock SRD4 motor with just rod bolts and some head studs can easily make 500 horsepower. I know tuners locally that make 600 horsepower on stock bottom ends with just rod bolts upgraded, head studs upgraded, no crazy cams. You can drop in some like stage two Crower drop-ins where you don't even have to add springs and retainers stock manifold a good flowing exhaust manifold a good turbo and you could make the same power i was making uh, you don't need as much fuel system as i have it is a lot nicer once you get to that horsepower range but you don't necessarily need it um and then like i said other things you can upgrade i had a three bar you could have went with a four bar map sensor and that's another you know 150 bucks you could upgrade uh you could go bigger fuel lines which more money, changing fittings, more money. E85 sensor, you don't necessarily need it. Fuel pressure regulator, you do need that. You could make it a lot fancier regulator and uh, you could change all of that. So what the base price for building around a 500 horsepower Spirit RT, basically a sleeper car, uh, with everything SRT4 included swap, you're gonna spend, uh, about $13,000 if you want it to be proper. Uh, now, 
Me personally, our car, of course, we didn't spend that much money. Uh, we got our shell, I believe, with the T3 motor running condition for like two grand. Um, we got the SRT4 motor and everything straight out of trailer park, so we didn't have to buy a motor. We got the wiring harness out of trailer park. We didn't have to buy that. We didn't have to buy the manifolds. We already got them out of trailer park. Uh, the exhaust manifold was new. The turbo was new. So we realistically had like $4,500 into the Spirit. Uh, we didn't have that much invested. Uh, but you look at the transmission, I, I completely skipped the transmission. So that price just goes out the window. Uh, to get a Quaif LSD and your 568, completely rebuilt, upgraded shift fork pads and everything, you're gonna spend around 1,800 bucks to two grand if you can even find a clean 568 to start with. Hopefully the Spirit you buy has all these parts. Uh, but if you're going to uh, get a shell and it doesn't have that, all that stuff is going to add up really quickly, including the shifter, shift linkages, the cables, the clutch, the flywheel. You're talking another 2,500 to three grand possibly into a transmission. So then at that point, you have a 15 to $16,000 car. Uh, that's a lot of money for a sleeper car. I can tell you that Trailer Park itself was about $2,800, I think, total into that car. And you're talking about this car, which probably had close to seven or eight thousand dollars in it, with all of our discounted parts. So, if you guys were wondering how much it costs to build a Spirit RT, if you don't have laying parts laying around, if you don't have extras, if you don't have a, bu a bunch of other 2.4s, you could potentially be in the fifteen to sixteen thousand dollar range, which is pretty on par with what most. 600 500 horsepower front wheel drive cars cost to build these days uh you look at the hondas you look at any of the other like especially dsms or stuff like that you're you're gonna spend upwards of fifteen thousand dollars to build a reliable 500 horsepower setup and be able to drive it around all the time with no issues now smaller you know youtube channels like me where we have parts laying around because we do other builds with other 2.4s uh like i said we probably have maybe six grand invested into the car uh but we got the pistons open box we got them for less than half price we got the rods open box we got them for really cheap the motor like i said came out of trailer park uh the cylinder head was probably the most expensive part but we got it for about one fourth of what it actually cost to build uh sadly that is no longer with us but we we got it for a rather cheap price uh the turbo we did pay, pay full price for uh injectors like i said we got them on black friday on special so we probably had mm, like i said six or seven grand total into the car um but if you were just wondering how much it costs to put together a 500 plus horsepower rt with srt4 swap running the whole nine yards, making passes. Hopefully yours doesn't blow up. Hopefully your uh, tuner is smarter than me and doesn't send it all the way on the second pass when I should have just left it alone and uh, waited until next season and uh, learned from, but, but you learn, you learn from your mistakes. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I might throw some numbers and lettering here as I'm going through to give you a total to keep it where you guys can follow along a lot easier. I might not. Who knows? Uh, until the next one, as always, you guys are the greatest, and hopefully you are subscribed to Yoast Built because I need them subscribers if I'm going to keep breaking cars for no reason. Until the next one, you guys are the greatest.